I started a program in the Indian River Lagoon system about a year ago to help clean up the Indian River. And I can't say enough thanks to the Whitney Labs up in St. Augustine, the University of Florida, and the CCA for getting this program started. We packed up all of our camera guys, went up to St. Augustine, and here's our report. All right, guys, we're here at the research facility and we're with Jose Nunez, and he is known as the clam whisperer around these parts. He is going to explain exactly what's going on here. What we have here is we have the super clam. We have clams that survive the events at the Mosquito Lagoon. Uh -huh. They survive all the oxygen depletion and all the algal blooms. And we brought them here at the lab. This is a brew stock that we have right here. I've seen many of them out digging them up, but they have yes. disappeared in the past few years. Yeah, and they're probably about eight, nine years old, these clams right here. And what we did at the lab, we spawned them uh, the following day after collecting them, and then we raised them all the way to uh, juvenile size right now. And how many did you say in that, in that little vial uh, there? In the little vial, what you can see here is uh, 1.5 million clams, and that's uh, what they look like when they're five days old. Five that's how many clams you can put in a, probably a tablespoon, less than a tablespoon. That's pretty cool. This is about a year, a year and six months maybe, maybe a year and a half. This is where we're headed. This is the kinds of guys we want to see everywhere in the IRL and bigger. The process has been going on now for roughly two months of successful nursery activity. As we move forward, our, our strategy is to move from cleaner water to dirtier water and kind of attack that dirty water from a lot of different angles. But as we do that through the series of reproduction in our program, we'll move forward in our leases and, and put these kind of, I call them like uh, frontier colonies out there so that they're reproducing and filtering water at the same time, doing those things we want them to do. And they're, they're moving us toward better water quality. You know, I've had hundreds of people come and ask me how they can get involved in the Indian River Clam Project. And I say, right now we need money, not manpower. We need the money to help Jose to look over the next generation of clams that are coming up out there. And I encourage every coastal community out there to take a look at this project because if you have clean water, you're gonna have a clean estuary. If we're taking clams out and not putting them back in, you need to have the sustainability out there to keep the clam population going. It'll keep your estuaries clean. If y'all wanna get involved in the Indian River Clam Project, make sure you go to IRLClamProject.com. You can go there and buy a clam. We'll see you next week.